So today's video is going to be about how to take care of your face. <laughs> my hair <laughs> hey guys welcome back to my channel this is me Nello as usual and introduce yourself hi my name is Felicia her name is Obi Obianu. please stop this Felicia your name is Obi yeah Obi okay. that's what you know me and this is my sister-in-law Obi the ever amazing Obi you guys you guys let me, let me not get into that story another video for that because she's she's working on a project for me yes that I am going to show you guys maybe next two three videos. I don't know when it's ready, but yeah, this is not the video for that. Anyways, today we are here to talk about talk about what being a wife, technically something like that. Yeah. Being a wife, just more like a girl talk kind of. Girl. Let us get into the video. Nice talk. Yes, I like talk. That's why I have a YouTube <laughs> channel. Yeah, let's get into the video. So guys, um, today we just really wanted to come out here and just talk about our experiences as wives to Nigerian men. I don't even know exactly what we're going to be discussing in, in this video, but we're going to talk about this as we go on. So first things first, we just want to talk about like marriage in general and like the pressure to get married in Nigeria. You guys... The pressure is it's real. real like, <laughs> it's real. Like, before you got married, were you, like, ever pressured to get married? No, funny thing is my parents didn't, like, up to date, they don't, like, bother. Like, they don't know. They don't, like, get married, get married, get married. So it's... They didn't want... My dad, at some point, didn't want me to, to have boys as friends. <laughs> so, like... You know the funny thing? Just, That's the complete yeah. opposite for me. My house, they don't pressure you. They never say, get married, yeah. get married, get married. But they are very open to guy friends. Your guy friends can come to the yeah, house. My father was... Stay, like... It was. It was he doesn't want to see you, a girl. I'm wondering where you are expecting it now. What expecting to get the boy husband? So <laughs> if I don't have a girl, a boyfriend. So anyway, there was not really that pressure, and personally, I I didn't give myself that pressure. So yeah, was, like when I, I got at married, at the point when I got married, I didn't. I wasn't thinking marriage was exactly. Married. Like I just was fresh, fresh out of my masters. I just got Same back from thing. Nigeria, and I was Same at that point thing. in my life where I just wanted to be on my own because I had a boyfriend when I was in. In the UK, so I just wanted to be on my own at that period, and one man was there talking about marriage, and I was like, "And today you have to so children for him." About it, so. <laughs> yeah, for me, my house was very different. When I met my husband, you guys already know the story. So it wasn't like I was looking to get married, but he came and, you know, look at us today, four years later. It's almost four years, like four years next yeah. month. Four years next month. So four years later, and you know, we're here today. But there was no pressure to get married from my end. There was nothing. Yeah, it just happened. Mm -hmm. But let me just talk about one post I came across on Instagram. Oh my God, I was so freaking pissed off. Like, I think I discussed this thing with Chidima that time when this thing happened. One person that put, um, if you meet a girl over 30 or something like that, mm -hmm. and she's not married, um, know that there's something wrong with her. There's a reason why other men do not want to marry her. Wrong for your life. Something so... Yeah, it was very, very I was so pissed off. <laughs> something like that. Yeah, something how how why did somebody marry her since there's something wrong, blah 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 blah. Funny thing is, it's the same people who say stuff like that that be like, okay, girls shouldn't make the first move, blah blah blah. So like might, am I supposed to go find my husband myself and propose to him and then I mean it's a I trend now. People are the trend. People are, are proposing, but that's not even the, the point is more like why 30 freaking years like 30 is young for god's sake like you know before i got married i was even thinking okay my the age i gave myself that would have been ideal for me to get married would have, would have been like 27 to 30 or 32 kind of thing like i wasn't ever thinking i'll get married at 23 i got married at 23 yes when did you get married by the way i was 24 yeah almost same thing yeah. so i actually consider myself like one of those people that married early but it wasn't really by pressure or anything was actually by choice so it's working out because i know like at least three people that i got married to the same year and they're not married anymore so you guys point of this whole story is don't let anybody pressure you into this thing called marriage because it is not easy it's it not is not made out to be like, like oh my god forget instagram and forget As in, <laughs> 
Where it is, is nice. We're going to we're going to get into that now. So it's crazy. So don't let yourself fall yeah, because victim. people make it look like it's an achievement to be married. Oh yeah, that's another thing. That's right? another thing. Let's marriage is easy. not an achievement, <laughs> you guys. It is not. Anyways, next point is what marriage actually entails like as a nigerian wife what does it feel like the thing is the thing with marriage is um the partner you end up with yeah you could end up with someone who has that 19th century 18th century whichever was that 19th (laughs) if you end up with someone who has that mentality well like african men are to be worshipped and to be served and to be cleaned up after and then it might just and Especially if you're not in that frame of mind as well. Is there really any, there are any girl are, that is... Yeah. Actually, there are. Some people believe there men are. are meant to be... Like, because Washed, that's how you're... you're like, being, if your husband say, says, uh, lie down for um, and greet me or lick the or floor, you just do it because it's your husband. Mm-hmm. Yes. There are some people that actually believe that. So, it that. depends on the person you end up marrying. And um, generally, people make it out to look like it's... We, yeah, obviously, we said it's tough. But tough in the sense that because you're no longer dealing with just yourself and what you want to do, yeah. you are dealing with someone else, someone that is totally different from you. You I'm guys are not consider that person in your decisions. Relations. So now I'm bringing in that person into making whatever decisions you make normally as a single person it becomes so tough because the person might not even see your point of view, and that's where yeah. problems come up and miscommunication. That's when, well, that's when we say marriage can be tough. Like yeah. you really need to be in sync. Like for, for it to be blissful, which is very hard. Like yeah, it's easier it's said really, than done. Really hard. Like you might be because you're two different people with two different personalities. Like, yeah. You know, so it's very hard to sync your personalities together. But you just have to love each other and know how to work with what you have. Yeah, yeah. Basically, like and I think it takes years. Because of course, it takes years. Anyways, the second thing I want to talk about is how to still be the you you want to be. Why being the you, your husband, and your kids want it to be? Do you understand? It's kind of, it's very different. Like, having your you time in marriage. Like, I know for me, I just get fed up sometimes. I'm just like, I need a break. I need my time. And you have to be right to someone that actually understands that. I don't know. How is it for you, really? You have, because, yeah, because um, you might be feeling like that, but your partner might not, understand. to you, to him, is like, what do you even do you? I go yeah. to work, I come back, you're probably sipping wine yeah. and watching <laughs> Telemundo or whatever. So he doesn't see that you actually need that, that time, time of to be yourself or to do your own thing. And yeah. So I think it's just it depends it's on the person you're It's really one to. of the most important things. Like it's if I don't important. have time to do my own thing, like even just doing this YouTube is, a, is an escape for me. I love it. It's just something I do for myself that I love hanging out with my friends sometimes like with my husband when he gets too much i just travel somewhere on my own without him without the kids and just even if for just a week but just breathe again i miss them so that when i come back i actually appreciate them mm-hmm. more i think it's it's really really important yeah, yeah. to always to just have someone that understands that the thing is most of the time we can't really i think it's got because of the way women are wired like you always want especially, especially mothers you want to put your, your children, your family way before you. So Me the going time, away is putting them first, though. Really? So that you don't... So I'll not kill them. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even gotten that break yet, but I'll probably take it when I mean We should break. take, we should take like, that kind of break. I don't no, want the children two around. Of us I don't want the husband <laughs> around. I just want me. In fact, I don't... You don't want I, me I don't want you around. Like, I just want to... Be able to watch my series in peace. No, this one thing. Eat whatever I want to eat. In a holiday form. Whatever time I want to eat and... Not think about what am I going to do. And what another dinner? person will eat. Oh my god, you guys. Like, so I just guys. want that break. Like, I'm oh not getting it yet. Four it's, years. It's, almost five years. Yeah, she's almost five years. I I'm need like a break. Legit break. I'm, I'm actually meant to be on a break here, but it's not really a break because the children are here as well. And yeah, but it's better than. Is it? It is now. You don't have. To, because of that one, Jello fries to cook to one day. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than now. Like, I'm the one stressing. Oh, yeah. and the, anyways. Next point I wanted to talk about is like, like for me now that I've had the second one, you know, the thing is that when you have a first baby, oh, it's so cute. You want another one. I wanted another one. I had another one. Now that I've had another one, I'm just like, 
do I even really need another a third one? Like, <laughs> what would that third one do that these two are not already <laughs> doing for me? You know, me now, no, I'm saying, oh, I don't, I'm not ready for another, I'm not ready for another one. But I'm just finding it difficult just choosing a particular form of birth control and sticking to it. I don't know why. Like, what convinced you? Is that you don't want to have two day. boys, <laughs> and two boys already like a lot. I need a really wide gap, even if at least from three years up. But before you know the funny thing, thing uh, like, before I had Kaito, I was certain, like 100% certain that I was going to do IUD. Mm-hmm. And then I got pregnant for Kaito. Mm-hmm. And I was registered in the hospital at Sinental. Mm-hmm. And there are two people that were there with me that still had their IUD inside and they were pregnant with me. So what, what am I supposed to do now? When that one is supposed to be like 99% mm-hmm. and everything. A lot of people actually get pregnant with the IUD inside. It's not, it's not that common. You can still do it, then still check your ovulation and all that. So it's stressful now. It's not, it's not that stressful. I'll do one and do one. It's either I do it and forget it. Anyway, them. I don't even check. I've just been lucky. Anyway, I just, for now, I'm not pregnant. And I, I, you don't I'm know if you are. You don't I'm know that you are not pregnant. I'm not pregnant. Really. <laughs> and I'm hoping I'm not even going to be among that. How many percent people that actually end up getting pregnant. So. And that's what my sister has on. My sister. Like, actually, like, have, you have people that have it on yeah. and they are not pregnant. So... Yeah. How we use that? How was the procedure? It was not really painful for me, like normal. Cervi- just the same way you do your cervix exam or what they call it. Mm-hmm. Then you open up and the doctor goes in with the mm-hmm. thing that expands, mm-hmm. and then he inserts the, the mm-hmm. coil. With, there's something that shoots it in, mm-hmm. so it gets to your uterus and mm-hmm. then it just stays there. Then it has a string. Oh yeah, feel about the string. Do you feel it? Yeah, yeah. The doctor will tell you to check like. Every time you finish a period, you check to see. You just put your hand in there and like look for it. You feel it is like a string. This so this like when you are walking around, do you, you feel, feel it? it now. You don't feel it. As you have moisture it. there now. There's no how you. I'm not feeling anything. It's only when you put your finger in there that, that you feel you something. Just feel. Okay, someone like me that use tampons. I hate mm-hmm. pads. I can't. I detest yeah, pads. Like I don't know if you can use tampons. Exactly. Like that, can and I can't out. use yeah. pads. I just can't. You can pull it out. I think. So. Tampons can pull it out. It should, because this, the string is right there. It's not like deep in. You can feel it like once you. If like I can't use tampons, this, I can't do it. I'm if, sorry. Once you go in this deep, you feel you feel it. So if you're putting your tampons in there, you might catch on it and pull, pull it, it out. out. So don't want to take that. I have out. a friend that put her own out herself Seriously. when she was ready to get pregnant. She just put pulled it out her herself. I see. And she got pregnant. Like is it the next month <laughs> yeah, or two months like, later? Like, immediately you can get pregnant. Yeah. The next. Your next ovulation, that's how sick Because I know that's actually easier than being on the pill. Yeah, because the pill that I have to every day. That's just it. You like, how do you juggle being a mom, being a career woman, being a wife, the whole thing? How do I juggle it? Because mm-hmm. you guys, she's a fashion designer, basically. And she has her own business too on the side that, you know, with her husband. And she's a mom. So I like, you actually do a lot. So how yeah. do you juggle everything? Well, I don't really have like a timetable. I'm just good at multitasking, mm-hmm. so I can still be able to achieve stuff with a screaming boy on the side, and I'm still doing my thing. Everything just bothers around this children at the end of the day. So That's an annoying just thing. Fix yourself. Yourself. Do you know, do you know, you know the funny thing? Then sometimes I just get depressed. <laughs> Not like too depressed, but just depressed. Like I just think, oh my god, I'm young. How is this supposed to be my life for the rest of my life? Do you understand? I'm like. I'm how old and I have two kids, 27 with two children, like, and I plan to have at least one more. And then how is this supposed to be the rest of my life? How is waking up every day, taking care of these children, doing this, doing that for people and not really getting time for myself supposed to be my life. But then again, when you see the smile on their face, even when they are annoying, it's just like, oh, they're so good, they're so adorable. And you're happy to do I it. See a new baby and you're like, I, oh, they have their days. All in all, like being a wife to a Nigerian man. Why I say Nigerian man is because, okay, let me just talk about this quickly. You know how outside Nigeria, like in a, so many countries, you know, like a family is not typically like a Nigerian family. Like you actually have families where the men contribute, the women contribute like equally in a marriage. By equally, I mean financially, physically, everything like housework, everything, chores and stuff. But in a typical Nigerian marriage, that is not the case, so mm-hmm. to speak. But the annoying yeah. thing with many Nigerian husbands is that they, the wives actually work, they come back home and do 
like oh yeah that's when it gets annoying annoying, that's when it gets annoying let's say you work in the same office your wife or you work the same job with your wife he goes to work early she goes to work late because she has to dress the kids take them to school and she leaves work early because she has to pick kids from school cook and stuff and you're just there doing nothing it yeah, is unfair. Crazy. You guys, stop it if you're doing it. It is so unfair. If you guys have the same job, like my kind of job, I can decide to go to, like today I didn't even go mm-hmm. anywhere. I can decide to go to work. I can decide not to go because I work for myself. And, you know, my husband is my biggest supporter. I'm even doing YouTube today is because of my husband. This camera, he bought it. Everything that has to do with my job, literally, my husband helped me achieve. So he actually wants great things for me, which is actually the same thing for your husband. Yeah. Anyways, last but not the least, like, uh, advice to people aspiring to get married, people that have tagged marriage as an achievement that is doing to marry, 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 marry. Take your time. Scout the guys. As find the right mean, one. Don't like, want to settle and then end up in Don't rubbish. settle. Like, don't it's settle. It's a long time to be unhappy. Like Exactly. That's why I tell people. Like, it like, is, that's why there's a lot of divorce because... You're rushing and you rush out. Mm, that's patience. trying to make you work. You have to have patience. Actually, yes. you guys started Because you guys are going to have trying time. Don't I say trying time? You are going to have trying time. The first day of my marriage was so trying for me. Like, maybe I should do a separate video talking about that, actually. Me and Francis touched that in our video together, but not like broadly. It, so it's very, 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 very trying, but I'm happy to say that we are still getting over it slow and steady. It's a forever process, so it is a forever process. Even your parents have been married for 50 years, they're still Korean, so don't even think that your Korean will end in five years. <laughs> it's reduce. Yeah. Oh, anyways, I feel like we've been talking forever. Yeah. Uh, my battery is blinking, I can see it blinking, it's going to die any moment now. So, you guys, hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat, girl talk kind of video. I know a lot of my subscribers might not be married, some of you are married, but I hope that this video just gives you an insight and helps you. It's yeah, like, one way or the job, other. Whatever yeah. like milestone you haven't, and just be applicable to you. Yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I've not been on YouTube for a while. I think maybe three weeks, two weeks. I don't know. Two weeks feels like three months to me or six months actually. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe and hopefully I'll start uploading once or twice a week, at least once a week, maybe twice. I don't know. And I will see you guys in my next video. Yeah, bye. <laughs> bye, guys.